when that person tells you your clan family that they are descendant of, and then they say to you, that is who they are. They are a surface person. <laughs> Among our people, when we uh, meet another person that we suspect is Navajo, we always ask the very first question is, ah, which would be asking, what clan are you? And in our traditional way, we, when we introduce ourselves to someone or to a group of people, we always uh, give the uh, clan that are from our mother's side. And then we give the clan from the father's side who we are born for, and then we give the clan for our grandfather on our mother's side, and then finally the uh, grandfather on the, the, your father's side. So there are four clans that everybody is uh, descended of. And in the traditional way, when you say, like for myself, I would say, that would just simply tell people that I am of the Bitterwater clan. I'm born for the Dark Shadow Streak and the Forest people. And uh, my grandfather on my mother's side are the Edgewater people. And the grandfather on my father's side are the Towering House people. And then after I said that, I would say, And that is to say, that is what makes me a surface person. And so that is the way that we would introduce ourselves to someone when they ask. Uh, or, what clan are you? But in a traditional way, there's a lot to uh, each clan that you are descended of. And as I mentioned before, there were, we're able to identify at least 147 different clan families that became the Neh at one time. And each of these clan families have an individual history. And when they came into this part of the continent, they came from very far away, many of them, to be among the Dene. And the reason that they came was because they had heard. They had heard that there was a place where there were a people that, uh, that understood the existence before coming into this world and the ways to exist here on, in this world. And also the understanding that there was a, an afterlife and that these people had teachings and things that they would uh, live by that helped them to understand, that helped them to have the, uh, the joy and the peace and the confidence and the happiness that everybody was seeking. And so it was that they wanted to be among the, the Neh and live in that particular way as well themselves. That's why they came to be the Neh. The uh, first clan is always said to be the Towering House people. That is the very first people that became what is called the Neh, a surface person, or recognizing themselves as a surface person. And then there are other groups, the Dark Shadow Streak and the Forest People, Tsi'i'i Na'jini. Now when you say the Dark Shadow Streak and the Forest People, Tsi'i'i Na'jini, that person has a history of coming from somewhere there was a forest, and all they could see was the shadow of the person. Now that wooded area could have been a jungle, and there are jungles out in the uh, southeast part of the present-day United States. So it could come from the swampland, because you have the other portion of it is uh, a story of Tatlaho Tsodi, which is the monster that can grab you and put you underwater and hold you underwater. And the only one that I, a creature of that uh, ability is the, uh, the alligator. And so these people were familiar with uh, the alligator. Tosnaho Tsuti is important to understand. Just like the uh, Tudich Eatney. Tudich Eatney had their story and their, their uh, mascot, you might say, Nikhidli is what they call it, is the, uh, the giant uh, serpent. Tso is what they call it. And so every clan family has a history uh, claiming a certain area that they may have come from and uh, giving some information of uh, how they became uh, a part of the Dene or became the Dene. When uh, other clans t tell their story, they tell about traveling for very long distances to get to the place that was called the Netcha. The Netcha is a very important place, 
and people came from all over the place to come and be among the Dene, or to be with the Dene. And uh, stories are many that each one of those clan groups occupied a certain area of what is, was called the Netcha. And so there were many, many people in each clan group, some probably 100,000 or more of these clan families occupied large areas. And the early form of uh, what would be considered a government was that each clan group had a first man and first woman that were basically the, uh, the leaders. As leaders, they also had other people than that that would support them and help them in their leadership positions. And these leadership positions were not just done by some ballot, a voting ballot. These people were the ones that were, were known as Nahat Aye in Nehi. Nahat Aye in Nehi is uh, what they were called, which is the ones that have the special gift to be able to plan, uh, to think, and to be able to uh, be concerned about the lives of the families on that. So one of the main teachings of the the, the ne is always that everything is based on keh. Keh is uh, kinship or clan families or even the uh, immediate family on up to the extended families and the clan families and then how you are related to other clan families. All of this was based on keh. And so when the leadership came and had to be selecting someone to help or to guide these uh, clan families, they always had a first man and a first woman. And um, anything close to the, uh, the way that these clan families govern the, uh, themselves, as we might compare it to some other forms of government in the world or in history, the only one that I can really think of is the, uh, the Athenian or the Greek uh, way of government. And they're way, way back in the early history, they had city-states where they had people that were in groups and uh, they would all have their own ki king and their own queen and their own way that they operated as an individual city-state. And so it was with the Dene that each clan family had their own government and had their own particular way of doing what they did. And it was that they uh, worked together, but it was all based on the traditional ways of the Dene which is recognizing that there is a supreme being and that he has uh, given instructions to his children and that there were certain ways to conduct themselves, to have certain principles, to have certain values, and to uh, make a society where you could have the ability to seek joy, happiness, confidence, and peace. And that was the way of the Dene. They were very peaceful people and they negotiated various problems. Now there's uh, stories about other people that lived in the same area. And one of those that keeps cropping up, of course, is the Anasaza. And just to show you how tolerant the Dene were at that time, the Anasaza did live in the same area as the Dene. But they were not here for any extended length of time. They were here for a very short period of time. You have to understand in the traditional teaching that uh, some of these uh, dwellings on that that are designated as being very ancient and very old is uh, the cliff dwellings. The cliff dwellers became the Neh, or also became a part of the, what was the Netcha. We have Klein families that are Tsejikhena, uh, Kenzichini, you know, all these different uh, types of names that refer to the Klein families and that, that uh, lived in these uh, rock and mud structures for many generations. So there's a lot to each and every clan family. They have a history. It is their identity. And it's so very important to learn who, where your people came from, your clan family came from. What is your mascot? What is your mascot or your pet? And so those are the things that are very important to understand is that every clan group has a history and every clan family is your identity. And so it is very important. So when we greet one another and we ask, you know, when that person tells you your clan family that they are descended of, and then they say to you, that is who they are. They are a surface person. Now, when a woman introduces herself and she gives you her clan family and who she's descendant of, when she ends that uh, portion, she always says, that means that is what makes me 
a woman surface person. So those are the teachings of, of our people, and those are the things that we are told. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our videos. If you like what you see, don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss one of our uploads. Also, head over to our website, NavajoTraditionalTeachings.com. Sign up for our email list. I can't.